Hey. So, um, today I'm going to paint this, um, this casket here. Um, this morning, woke up to hear that, um, Jeff, a really amazing man, um, and my daughter's papa, uh, a wonderful papa, and yeah, a lovely man to so many people, um, had passed away, uh, he'd been a bit unwell, um, and spent a few weeks in hospital, and, um, yeah, went downhill last night, and he's actually passed away, so, pretty sad times, um, so, the very first casket that I painted, I actually painted for Liz, um, his wife, his beautiful wife, Liz Carr, and um, seven years ago, uh, in February, I painted my first casket, and it was for her, and, you know, at the time, I painted that for her, thinking, well, one, it was something that I could do for her, and two, um, I just wanted something feminine and beautiful for her, something that represented who she was and the life that she lived. And, you know, she loved all things graceful and feminine and um, she was a beautiful woman. So, you know, my perception back then of caskets were that they were very um, dark, that dark, shiny wood and, uh, f you know, fairly masculine, I guess. And I just felt it was one thing I could do, you know, hand paint something for her. So that was my very first casket seven years later. And um, I'm painting one for Jeff, for her husband. So he's been re reunited with Liz, which is a beautiful thing, but it's still, it's those that are left behind, you know, that it's really sad for. And um, he was a great, he was a great man and he's going to be sadly missed. Um, Jeff was a bit of a joker, and um, one thing, mind you, joking, but with depth behind him, and one thing he said often to me was, when I die, Jesse, I want you to paint um, kiwi fruit vines on my casket, and he said that many times, he's talked about that, not knowing we didn't, we didn't know that, you know, that would happen sooner than later but I here we are so um that's what I'll be doing on this casket um for Jeff and I'll be doing it with love and with um yeah deep love and thoughts and um just thinking of him and memories and um yeah so many memories and so I guess it's one thing that I can do for him and his family um yeah, is, is I'll paint this casket for him and maybe I'll film a bit of while I'm doing it, but I just thought I'd jump on and just sort of say, yeah, what I'm doing and this will be for you, Jeffrey. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's sad to have woken up to hear that Jeff had gone and with COVID, how it, uh, you know, the situation of things, he'd been in hospital not that well, um, but you couldn't visit, you know, one person a day, and he has family and a wife, uh, so I was booked in to see him this Friday to go and spend a couple of hours with him, because um, he hadn't been able to, but yeah, he just went downhill and he's passed. But one good thing is to celebrate the life that he lived and also to know that he's now reunited with Liz, his dearly, dearly beloved um, Liz. He loved her so much and, uh, you know, it's nice to think that he's with her. Got to think of the, the good things as well and um, his life is to be celebrated. You know, this is thing I hear more and more. Um, it's how they lived, you know, and the life that they lived that needs to be celebrated. Um, 
of course it's hard for those that are left behind but you know he left a strong legacy and um a lot of good memories and funny memories for people he was a joker a real joker but he was also a deep man and he loved you know he really loved and he did a lot for so many he was an incredible popper um to my daughter and a beautiful father figure to me as well and you know he was there for me and for Sean and um, my daughter and um, yeah I'll never forget that and so I'll hold on to those memories and I'll paint his kiwi fruit vines that he loved so much he loved being amongst the kiwi fruit that was his passion that's where he most felt at home or you know just being amongst those vines and working in the kiwi fruit working on the tractor and um so i'll do my best to try and rip you know put that onto 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 a casket for him and yeah who would know who would have known this casket's been in the house for me to paint in the hallway stacked up to paint um for a couple of weeks now I've been really really busy and um, this is one of the caskets I had to get up to date with stock but who would have known it had Jeff's name on it you know it's the way life life rolls I guess and yeah gotta go with it it's a reality of life isn't it we all we're all mortal beings in times like this I guess it you know you're faced with that reality a little bit more you know and we all suffer loss in life and you live and you die um but it's what you do with your life isn't it and what you do and the legacy that you leave um to those left behind anyway i'm rambling now but just wanted to do this video and I'll probably come back on and do a bit more filming when I'm actually painting it but yeah this is for you Jeffrey and I love you we're sad to sad to know that you're not with us anymore but we're happy that you're back with Liz and um yeah okay I was up all night, well, till 5.30 painting this casket, just adding the finishing touches to it now, and hopefully it will be everything that he would have wanted. I'm just writing Jeffrey Michael Carr. 